I have found that three former staff in the Ministry's finance team raised concerns about Ms Harrison's conduct and issues with contracts and invoices on several occasions. These staff were not, however, made redundant because of them raising concerns about Joanne Harrison. The redundancies were due to the Ministry moving to an automated accounts payable system. This was a planned move and legitimate for the Ministry to pursue and was properly authorised. Joanne Harrison had no control over that particular decision. I have found that these staff suffered disadvantage and unnecessary hurt and humiliation due to the process that was followed when they were made redundant and that Joanne Harrison provided advice around the timing of that process. This process, <clears throat> the process was followed, um, resulted in the staff members being made redundant just before Christmas in 2015, and ultimately around seven and a half months in advance of the new processing system coming into effect. There was additional hurt and humiliation for these members of staff caused by the fact that they had to train a temporary staff member to undertake their jobs. One had an offer of further employment which was withdrawn. While there is no definitive evidence of Ms Harrison engineering this process to disadvantage these staff, they were disadvantaged by the process and I can see no reason why they were needed to be made redundant at the time that they were. While these decisions were properly made by the appropriate finance group <coughs> managers and endorsed by the Chief Executive, the process followed and particularly the timing of the redundancies was based on advice from Joanne Harrison.